I'll say this. I know that the day they tell me that I'm going to need dentures, I'm walking into the ocean. I walk, that's, it's a dub. I'm good on that. I just, I'm like, yo, mm -mm, I'm. There's just certain things, yeah, you know. I'm checking out. I'm not willing to yeah. live with this. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Dentures is the thing. They say glycoma, yeah. I'm like, that's a wrap. It's a wrap. Even at like 80? Oh, see, the th this is the thing. I like feel like 70, like three is like a good age. <laughs> Like, I've seen most of the things that I need to. At that point, like, my body is starting to be like, it's getting to that time age. I had a, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is fun. So this weekend was a very strange tonally, tonally for me. Okay. Because Friday I went to the Dark Honey show, which is like a party. It looked know? awesome. I'm so mad I missed it. I was like, I had like just been traveling back from Canada, and then yeah. I went to my sister's birthday thing, and then I was just dead. I was like, yeah. oh, but it I, looked so awesome. I feel you. I went to that. That was like a party. Mm -hmm. And then the next morning, I got up and I had to go to a wake for my friends, for somebody who died suddenly at okay. 60, which is like pretty young, Yeah, mm -hmm. which put me in this weird mindset of thinking about how unnatural, like I kept thinking, we're so unnatural in this culture about death. Yeah. Because in, we, th we treat it like something that happens when it's supposed to, mm -hmm. which is weird. When you think about human history, that's not true. Most like mm -hmm. when, when you become an adult, it should be like, no, death is something that's going to happen to you. Yeah. You don't know when it could happen at any time. You should really appreciate your life. Mm -hmm. uh, so that put me in a weird mental state. And then I went and saw Parasite, which is a really weird movie that I recommend. Yes. Which, I've heard what, about it, but I've never seen it. I saw that wearing a suit. And then I went, and then, <laughs> and then a purple shirt, a suit. And then I went to this Troy Foundry Theater did this show Yellow, which was really cool and bizarre, and like, I don't know how to exactly describe it, but it was another weird, totally different thing. Okay. And this this was my whole weekend. And then Sunday I went to the show there, which was another weird tonal yeah. thing because it's like these songs about death and murder and suicide and bear mm. maulings. And yeah. I was like, just such a weird way to to do that. But what you said about uh, 70, 73 or 72, mm -hmm. whatever, like, that's, I was thinking that, like, 60 seems so young, but at the same time, it's weird that I expect death to happen in this, like, predictable way. Yeah. Right. It's it's really weird. It's, it's strange because, like, me looking at it from, I just turned 25. So I'm like, me looking at it from the perspective of, oh my gosh, I'm going to get older. Like by the time I'm like 72, 73, I'm good. I'm like, I'm chilling. Like I don't need, life Life has shown me what it needs to show me. I can move on to round whatever <laughs> we're on. But then I think about my parents and I'm like, oh no, I want them to live forever. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 And I'm like, I, I would hate if they checked out at like 73. Been like, you know, age, you know what? Tap you up. <laughs> it's cool knowing you. We're gonna, you know, jump into the afterlife. Like I right. would be devastated. So, uh, 